diving more into the management announcement that VMware did, and one of the announcements is also log insight, getting more insights into the logging information that you get from all places in your infrastructure. So I've got Darla here, and Darla, can you tell us a little bit more about what log, log insight is, what does it do, what's the benefit for customers? So, Log Insight, I'm actually the quality engineering manager for our product, and um, basically what we're delivering is log aggregation and analytics. So what we found is that uh, whenever you're troubleshooting a problem in your, your virtualized environment or even your um, network infrastructure, you really end up diving in and troubleshooting by looking at your logs. And so what we're giving you is just an easier way to do that um, through deep analytics into your logs. Okay, so does that work only for VMware solutions or can you import logs from anywhere? We can actually import logs from anywhere that delivers logs via syslog. So it's actually, it's, it's more than just your VMware infrastructure, it's also your network appliances, storage devices, anything basically that can deliver logs by us. A, a single pane of glass where you can troubleshoot and, and find the issues in anywhere in your environment. Exactly, in your whole environment, all of them aggregated in one place. Perfect, so can you explain a little bit about how to implement this in a network? What, what does it yeah, take? Yeah, so our product is delivered by a virtual appliance. Um, so it's very easy to set up and configure out of the box. It, it really takes the, the configuration is about five minutes. Uh, then you have time to actually configure your endpoints to send logs via syslog to our server. We are a syslog server, so we gather up the logs. Um, from there, you're ready. You know, we've got a web interface, and you're ready to dive in and, and do your analytics. Okay, well, that sounds really easy. I think we've got a, a web interface already. Yeah. Can you show us a little bit? What, what type of screens, what information we can get? Definitely, so um, what you're seeing right now is sort of the first half of the product. It's where you have dashboards, and so these are the places where we have prepackaged content um, that is sort of abstracting away the noise in your logs and showing you just the things that we think you think will be interesting. Um, so up, what I've got up here is the vSphere content pack. We worked with the vSphere team to basically provide the information about your ESX hosts and your vCenter that might be interesting. So we do integrate with vCenter, so we receive tests and events and alerts that come from vCenter, and we display information here about those as well. So we also have the ability to create your own custom dashboards. So any charts and graphs and queries that you find interesting, you can capture on your own dashboard. That's the place where, as an IT admin, you might want to come check every day to go look at your dashboards. And you can have multiple dashboards with different, you know, you could have your, your ESX information, your networking information, everything. But we also have content packs, and that's where we're working with our partners to provide this prepackaged content. So we're, we're working with the partners to say, hey, when somebody's troubleshooting your you know, appliance, what are the interesting things that they want to pull out of their logs? And so we're getting those content packs. They're all free. They ship. Um, we ship them up on the web. You can download them for free. And we have updates as well. Yeah, perfect. So it's a, a lot of intellectual property that you're actually giving to the customers so that you make sure that they are very successful in troubleshooting their issues. Exactly. That's exactly it. So. Um, from here, you can say, okay, wow, look, something interesting happened here. I've got a big spike. So you can then open up this dashboard into the other half of our product, which is the interactive analytics. And that's where you really have the power to do sifting through logs yourselves and really do that troubleshooting. So you know, basically what's displayed at the top is the exact graph that we had before. And this is really just a total number of events over time. Down here, you're seeing the actual log data. This is the raw you know, syslog messages. You'll also see below each log, we have some information that we have extracted out into fields. So I can very quickly um, add a constraint to my search that's just on this particular host. And so I can see now I'm just seeing the messages that are related to that host. I can also do, um, I'm just going to change my time range here. You can search over different time ranges, and I can also do just plain, plain text searches. So if I knew I was having a problem with SCSI devices, I can call up, you know, all the messages basically that have um, have SCSI in the, in the message. Exactly, because normally if you're an IT admin, you can sort of guess where an issue is. Exactly, and this helps you to narrow it down. So maybe I've noticed that I'm I'm having deteriorated performance. We have autocomplete to help you. I'm 
actually going to remove that post to get more data. And, you know, now I'll see all the messages that are referring to the SCSI performance being deteriorated. I can also, um, you know, these are the, the built-in abstracted fields, extracted fields, but I can also extract my own field by just highlighting the field that's interesting to me. So right now this message is telling me that my SCSI latency has deteriorated. I'm going to extract a field. I'm going to call it Darla latency. Save that. And then now it's an extracted field. So I can click that and it adds a constraint to my search. Now this particular constraint isn't that interesting because it's basically querying on exactly that SCSI, but maybe what I really want is greater than some threshold. And then I'll see all the messages where I've, I've had uh, performance deteriorate and it's meeting a threshold. So that might be something that I'm interested in tracking over time. And so what I could do here is I can add an alert that basically, um, you know, I can give it a title. I can add an email address to email this to as many people as I need. I can also, this is where our integration with VC Ops Manager comes into play, where I can have the alert sent to VC Ops, and from there the alert gets displayed um, as an alert in VC Ops, and you can actually click on that alert in VC Ops and say, open this up in Log Insight. Okay, so bring it back up, and it'll bring up the relevant logs in, in Log Insight. Perfect. So, I mean, you're integrating into um, all other management uh, functions then. Does this mean that licensing is also within the vCloud suite, or how is this product, product licensed? Right now, we're a standalone product, so um, we are our own virtual appliance. We download independently, and we're licensed independently. So, and our licensing model works um, basically on the endpoints, the number of endpoints you have that are sending logs to us. So, if you were just interested in your uh, ESX hosts, maybe you have 50 hosts, you want to send their logs to Log Insight, that would be 50 licenses. If you had additional network devices or storage devices that you also wanted to have tracked, you just basically have one additional license per device. And if you're using a virtual center and that sends information, that's just one host, yeah. but you really do want to get the log information from the ESX host themselves. Yes, yes. For the most part, you know, we're really, our, this 1.0 release is really focused on integrating it nicely with vCenter and ESX. Okay, well, thank you very much. And um, I noticed that you have a little promotion going on. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, right over here, if you follow us on Twitter, uh, it's at VM Log Insight. Um, you can also follow by uh, hash Log Insight. But we're giving away five permanent license keys for Log Insight. Okay, so that means five devices attached to Log Insight for free. Exactly. So if all you had in your environment were five hosts, you'd be all good to go. And it's a very good testing environment, so they can test the power of this this new uh, solution. Base. Absolutely, and we have a you know a trial, 60-day trial version that's out there right now. Everybody can download and play with it. Um, we also have a really healthy tech preview program that I want to mention. That we have tech previews every two months, and so you can always get the latest and greatest by joining our community, our VMware community. Perfect. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Darla. Thank you. And for the viewers at home, I make sure I'd follow uh, Log Insight on Twitter. It gives you five licenses and you can also get more information there about the product. Thank you very much.